Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last year or so, I've been posting some videos about Google's attempts to try and phase out third-party cookies uh, in their web browser by introducing a couple of extra and additional trial, um, as they call it, privacy options in the Google Chrome web browser. Now, once again, and I actually don't think this is the first time they've um, delayed this, but once again, They've now um, decided to delay the phasing out of uh, the third-party cookies, support for third-party cookies, to the second half of 2024 now. And um, they say they've decided to um, delay um, uh, the phasing out of third-party cookies to basically give developers and organizations more time to evaluate and test um, the privacy sandbox, which is one of those features um, I have been posting on uh, in the Chrome web browser. Now to get to the privacy sandbox, uh, you just head to the menu settings, head over to privacy and security. And yeah, uh, under privacy and security, you'll see privacy sandbox, which is a trial feature. So you can toggle that off uh, if you don't want to um, take part in those trials or you can toggle it on. I'll just leave it on because I like to see what happens for the purposes of this channel. And then the other one they initially started with, which I posted on quite a while back and have posted on consistently over the last year or so, was Flock, which um, basically was also another trial feature and is not available in my region. Um, it's only available in some regions, so I can't toggle that on or off. And that basically stands for Federated Learning of Cohorts. And that was going to basically... Um, uh, shift the focus away from individual tracking of your browsing habits online and basically put you into different groups and as I say you can do a check on this channel I have posted previous videos now as I also have mentioned in the past um, um, other browsers like uh, Brave, Edge and even Vivaldi basically said no to Flock and have basically blocked it um, in their browser so that went nowhere and then um, Google came up with the privacy sandbox now um According to that post, um, they they say the reason for basically uh, phasing out uh, the uh, the support for third party cookies and the delay in that, um, they and I'm quoting this from their post. They say their most consistent feedback they've received is the need for more time to evaluate and test the privacy sandbox technologies. As mentioned, it's still on trial, so it's in a test phase before uh, deprecating third party cookies in Chrome. And um, they say this uh, uh, deliberate approach to transitioning from third-party cookies uh, ensures that the web can continue to thrive without relying on cross-site tracking identifiers or covert techniques like fingerprint fingerprinting, and that's according to Google. Now, um, uh, if we just head over to that announcement, uh, yeah, if we just head down, they tell us how this is all going to take place um, and um, how they're going to basically... Uh, phase out third-party cookies and um, they say yeah, in these uh, two paragraphs that beginning in early August uh, the uh, privacy sandbox trials will expand to millions of users globally and then uh, they'll gradually increase the trial population throughout the rest of the year and into 2023 and then before users are added into the trials they will uh, be shown a prompt giving them the option to manage uh, the participation and that's more or less that toggle I was talking about um, that at this stage um, is, by, is still um, on trial and then you'll have the option to opt in or opt out. And um, then they go here and say in the final paragraph, by the third quarter of next year, 2023, um, they expect the Privacy Sandbox APIs to be launched and then generally available in Chrome. And then they intend to begin phasing out third-party cookies in Chrome uh, in the second half of 2024 as mentioned so that was just a quick video to keep you updated uh, if you have been interested in following um, the privacy sandbox trials and the phasing out of third-party cookies according to google so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one